but during that time, uh, Andy was in LA. I was in uh, Chicago, and then uh, was I was able to talk to him a little bit because we're in the same time zone and kind of support each other. And um, yeah, I mean, like you know, I came back to Hong Kong for promotions for a show, but then it got it got postponed. So I'm I'm just sitting here, but. Yeah, I worked a little bit during this time, but um, but I'm taking taking this as a kind of kind of a blessing in disguise. So right now, I'm able to develop more projects that I'm going to be selling this year. Hopefully, go into production by the end of this year. So, but if I was working on those projects that were supposed to happen at this time, I wouldn't have that chance. So I'm trying to looking at it as like a blessing in disguise. And and like Andy said, it was a good time for me to be able to hang out with my mom and dad <laughs> for like almost eight months, which I never get to do. And I got to be yeah. in the kung fu school for and teach my students which never happens but you know after a certain amount of time we had to close down our school too for a little bit which was difficult because rent is expensive you know but but i'm sure a lot of people are going through a lot worse so yeah yeah uh well so so let's kind of stick with the hard and we'll go back to undercover punch and gun what were some of the hardest um sequences with uh again let's try to keep it as spoiler free as possible um not only as an actor so i want to end on the actor because like you said phil like i i I do uh, agree with you i think there's this idea that like all he can do is kick and punch and there's no you know there's no emotion up here to sell it which i think is horseshit so we'll start with the physicality what was what was probably one of the toughest scenes that you did uh the three of you did um from a physical uh standpoint We'll let Van take it first. Van, Van, because Van was did, he did a lot of training. Because I mean, he did, he had the uh, I wanted him to do parkour and also the blade work, but I and then after that I'm like, yo, Van, because he wasn't in Hong Kong. You weren't in Hong Kong. You were in Taiwan, right, at the time? Yeah, I was in Taipei. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, he was training there. He was sending me tapes that he was training. So. No. You know, um. Van, the hardest one. I mean, I think at the end of the day, it was all they weren't like super tough because. I did put in the time beforehand and everybody did, but um, I think the tough part was just the time. You know, it felt like if we had a little bit more time to shoot certain things, it could be, you probably felt a little bit better. But for the most part, like, yeah, I mean, I really, really just enjoyed every minute of it because for me, it was just like, I get the opportunity to learn like a lot more different things that I want to learn before. You know, I thought it'd be cool to do some parkour stuff and to actually be able to learn how to do like double Kongs and like, you know, um, aerials off certain things and, and feel comfortable. And then to, to say like, yeah, I did pretty much all my own stunts on it. It was, it was pretty fun to say. Too. So wait a minute. Well, You're telling me you did the parkour on top of the hood of the car. Yeah. That's you. You did the, yeah. the off the yeah. pillar on the car. Oh, yes. bravo, sir. Bravo. I, I, I got a member of F4. I need, I need to do that. <laughs> yeah. Expensive. Well, as I was watching that, like, I, I think I got a pretty sharp eye, and I'm like, I don't see any CG here. I don't, like, yeah. it, it works perfectly. We can't afford any, afford any CG. <laughs> yeah. Not with these two guys' salaries. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're the only one laughing. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> now all three of you are laughing except for me. <laughs> Loading. Oh yeah. shit. Um. Well. All right. All right. So uh, you, you guys get to hang and stuff. But Andy, I mean, you get pretty serious there. There had to been something that was tougher. You're like, fuck. I just can't get it right right now. Or is the There's vibes? Nothing. No. Nothing. Andy gets everything right. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't really remember. I mean, I. It was... <laughs> Really, you know, what was the last I'm, movie you remember, Andy? I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> we shot one last year too. Remember? Oh yeah, that, that thing hasn't been released. I don't know when. No, it's that was fun be. though. That was fun. I made Andy jump across two roofs on that movie. Between yeah. two roofs, I was like, I was like, Andy, I, we have a double for you. And then I had to double do it, and I filmed it for him. He's like, Oh, if he can do it, I can do it. So I was like, <laughs> Andy, but you're in your forties. He's like, You're too, Dude, Phil. I'm, I can't wait for that movie. It's gonna be badass. Yeah, well. Don't worry, I, I won't push in talking about it. I won't push. But I do, like, I mean, if there is something in terms of future projects that you guys are allowed to just, you know, whatever, just topically talk about, I'm all for it. Um, unless you have obligations where you're like, nope, got it, mum's the word. I think it might be obligations, but I haven't read any. So, Andy, go ahead and talk about it. <laughs> you're in trouble if you have anything. 
I don't. I haven't heard anything. We just saw like a bunch of little clips. And, hey, did you get the trailer? Uh, Wang Zhong sent Juicy Fu a trailer. I got it for your movie. That wasn't like a trailer. It was like more of a, a like the rough cut kind of like trailer. Stuff. Rough trailer. I mean, I didn't cut. I didn't cut it. No, the <laughs> movie that I did with Andy, that one that I choreographed in the desert. Yeah, I want to see it. This movie was shot in what two weeks? <laughs> we did this in two weeks. No, it wasn't shot in two well, weeks. I, I felt like I had two weeks. Three weeks. No, I was there for a month. They're there for a month. There for you guys month. were there for a month. I was there for. Yeah, I was there for a month. Oh yeah, you came in late. I had to choreograph everything ahead of time. Yeah, diva. Jesus. <laughs> oh, the only one laughing again. <laughs> we're the only one laughing. We know it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're a freaking diva. But it's fine. I mean, we love him, kind of. When he's off the set. <laughs> when he's off the set. <laughs> Love him. He's my brother. Love his kids, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, well, this is going exactly how I envisioned it. And not at all. Not at all. It's fine. <laughs> um, it's fun, though. I was happy to meet you. Yeah. No, I, I mean minus my nerves yeah no this is dope this is like like i mean a fan for so long so i guess i and i do want to keep my promise to the people that allowed me to do this so i i definitely tens are cut off so before our before we kind of go off here so you'd mentioned donnie uh donnie Yen a little bit back a uh, while back um, and obviously he's came out recently and said he's not doing, you know, Kung Fu or really action films. So he says, um, anymore. And then you have like the flip side where you have Keanu Reeves who says he'll play John Wick until they put him in the ground as long as the fans want to see it. So I guess I ask you guys, if you're comfortable answering which side of the fence, if at all, are you on? Because you guys have been doing it so long, and I know that ju- it's just human nature. You may get burnt out, or you're just, you know, you're kind of tired of it. And I, obviously, I know it's kind of a tricky question because you don't want to, like, bash anything or, or, you know, bash the possible future. But is it like, are are you guys like, hey, we're, we're just going to, we, because, I mean, obviously you guys had fun on this one, so it's probably different in talking about filming with your friends as opposed to, you know, just some other director that you're not familiar with, so on and so forth. Which side of the fence are you guys on? Keep doing it, or hey, my body's getting tired, and I and I and I do have more to offer than my punches and kicks and mean face. Ask Andy. I know what his answer is. Andy, what's your answer? Judging from your disposition that I see on the screen here, you've had it not only with this show, <laughs> but you. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I feel a lot of aches and pains in my body, but I, I love what I do, you know. It's just the stupid pandemic got in the way. Kind of cock-blocked us. <laughs> yeah, we're far from done for, I think. Good, good, because I'm one of those selfish fans. Keep doing it until you're in a wheelchair. I'm one of those fat, stupid Americans. Just I don't. I oh, you're 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 hurt and tired. I don't care. Make another one. I think you're a smart American for saying that. <laughs> smart American. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do it until I can't. I think. I mean, this is what I love to do, and I, I sacrificed everything to come here to try to do this, and I'm finally able to be to have a little bit more creative control. So I'm going to keep doing it until I can. I mean, even if I can, I'll just sit behind the camera and film other people who can. That's, I think that's my plan. What about you, Van? Well, I mean, that's all I have to offer is like punch and kicks. You know, I have nothing else going. No, that's not, say, that's man. just a humble brag that this guy is doing. Oh, no, yeah, um, I, I think for me, like I always say, I'm going to dance until I die. Dance until I die, you know, and, and the same thing, I'm going to just keep, working until i i feel like yeah I'm, I'm i'm done enough or whatever but i feel like i'm far from it i feel like we all are and there's so many things that we still want to do and capable of doing so it's just and we love it you know i mean we all flew to asia pursued a dream with pockets you know full of dreams but you know and then we all met each other so yeah well back to me being a fat stupid fan could you guys go do another one together like maybe maybe the three of you get back on because well, I thought. I, I, I can... Go ahead, Phil. Like every 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 project I develop has one of these two guys in it, if not all three. So I mean, like you know, if you know, God willing, if I could, I'm able to 
sell one or two of these projects, maybe, you know, you'll see us together again. I think regardless, you'll see us together again. We're waiting on you. <laughs> what's, yeah. what's that? Van, Van, produce something. Oh, you guys don't want to be anything I'm producing. <laughs> why, why? What is it? Is it dancing? Because I have no rhythm. <laughs> you can tell from Beat Saber. Beat Saber, yeah. yeah. Well, I say that I want you guys to be in the film again, uh, again, probably not for reasons that most people would say. When I watch you guys on Undercover Punch and Gun, and I know you guys are friends, but I, I, I don't think friends is going to sell the, the film, you know, at least in, in terms of what you're seeing on screen. Having said that, the chemistry between all three of you, I mean, you can feel it. I, I don't want to like I don't want to blow smoke and be like, dude, just like Jaws, Dreyfus, Shaw, and uh, and Schneid, uh, Scheider, like you guys are working perfectly off of each other. But I would be lying if I said that there weren't several times throughout this film where I'm just like, they're 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 perfect right now. All three of them are perfect, especially some of those end sequences when you guys, when uh, Phil, you've been caught, and Van, you've been caught, and. Andy's controlling. I don't want to say too much, but th- those sequences are great. I I f- I feel your guys's chemistry working so well off of each other. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank so um, that's sweet. Thank you. I mean, I mean, no, I mean, it's, it's it's nice to hear. You know, I mean, sometimes we go on the internet and I read all the comments, and then I call Andy and I cry. So and then I. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Well, yes. <laughs> you know, having to hear something positive about your work, you know, and and then the work of your friends all together is always great, you know, and and you're not just kind of complimenting us with you know empty words. You're using, you know, Jaws references. It's 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 great. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with some more words here before we close. So, um, I think you made a sharp film. I I really do. I think Undercover, Punch and Gun, um. I, I had fun from start to finish and it was a lot funnier than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I don't, I didn't want to bring up too many cameos, but like you had, well, her name on the version that I'm watching, because that's another thing I get upset about too, is I never know which version I'm watching. If the subtitles are on point or, or, you know, somebody got lazy at the computer, uh, chief B is that, is that the, is that the character played by Suzanne Sue, Susie Sue, the Chief B is literally like I'm looking at the credits right now. Chief B is her name, and she's the meth cook, and that's what that's what they have her oh, 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 oh. L- listed as on the 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 uh, credits here. And but in the in the film, they're not calling her that. That's why yeah. like it gets confusing. Even with uh, the what is it, My Lin? They call him Magnum throughout the film, and I don't watch it with English audio. No, I watch it with the with the Chinese audio, and I I just I'm you like watch it with the English English. I audio. still want to watch it. Us. Go right now. Well, you wanted what? We did our own dubbing. We did our own dubbing. That never yeah. happens. The localization. All the English is us. Oh well, shit. Now I feel silly. I feel <laughs> I feel like a goose of uh, the silly variety. Um, but I, tons of cami, like it was funny. So it, just bringing her up the, the meth cook, you know, less or more like Betty White, less like Walter White, but it works cause it's funny. It's, you know, it's funny and, um, it has its twists. It has turns. I even got a little, uh, I hate spoiling stuff. I got sad at the end when certain, when certain things take place, especially to, to you, Phil, that spoils nothing, I suppose. Um, but nothing. No, my life. But I love so I I really love that sequence, especially. And I don't know how to say her name, but in the, again the 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 crew, it says her name is Teach. That's her character's name. Teach. Does that? Oh, uh, Jungle Ha. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, she's smoking. I don't know what it is, but she's she. Not only is she a badass, but holy shit. Um, well, if she kicks you, you will you will feel it. <laughs> That hey, I'm done. Kicks t- harder than all any of my friends. She kicks harder than any of them. Uh, I've never worked with someone to kick so hard. I believe it. Well, she's been at it a long time too, right? She's been at it right. since. She's, uh, she's doing real well right now. She's doing really well right now in Asia. So yeah, very, she very just got people. nominated for something, wasn't it? Like Operation Macaw? Was that it? She Red, got yeah. Red, Red Sea, I think. Oh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't remember the name exactly, but she's uh, she's doing real well, and she's been in the game for a long time, and she's one of the. One of the best people that I've ever worked with. Like really polite, real professional. Andy's worked with her many times. Yeah. It, did you kick? Did you kick her, Andy? And then she like she could take it. Tell that story. Yeah, they wanted me to kick her. 
this movie and I was like, 